imagine that as a whole movie. That's the rush you get when you watch Limitless. I mean, you really feel like you're going through the big rush and incredible experience that Bradley Cooper's character in this movie is going through. I mean, uh, the movie really does a great job of capturing that. Even from its opening scenes, which may induce vertigo, especially if you're height sensitive like me. And, uh, it's incredible, like, scenes where the camera will just rush through everything, and everything just comes at you super fast. And it's a very cool, stylish movie, especially in the way it was shot and everything. It kind of reminded me of Push, in that sense. That was very stylish, like, very cool shot, very visually stunning. And, uh... But... Pro well, it was both a blessing and a curse with this movie is that it displays both sides of a energy rush, a drug rush. The first half is probably like really exhilarating, really awesome, really you really feel like you're going through everything this guy is going through, living the high life. But then, of course, all the drug highs, there's a crash. And this movie does have its crash. Like towards the end, it starts to slow down a little, and it starts then it picks up in places, and then it slows down again, and uh. You could say that's a bad thing for a movie, or for a structure of a movie, but it's also very good in displaying the uh, effects of a drug rush. And the movie does have some very, very far-fetched moments here and there, especially towards the end, in some action scenes. It's just kind of hard to believe that like people would do all this like just for a pill. And there are some scenes where you, got, where you have to question the character's logic and like what it's doing and everything. And I hate those kind of things. Like, and at one point, even ask the audience, "Well, what would you do in my situation?" And uh, I'm saying to myself, "Well, not that, dummy." Because I really hate that movies where people just don't behave like people. See, like movies like Twilight and stuff. But this is a very, very fun movie to watch. You gotta say that. It's just, it's always, it always keeps you intrigued. It always keeps you wanting to know what's going on. It keeps you, wants you to, want, it keeps you wanting to keep watching this movie, which is really cool. And you, if it's doing that, you know your movie's doing its job right. So, uh, I'll probably give it, a, I'm gonna give it a solid three and a half out of five. I wanted to give it a four, or maybe a four and a half, but it's just, it had some flaws and some weak spots that may not that you may not dwell on immediately after the credits, but it'll probably come back to you later. Like, wow, like, you're probably if thinking back on this movie, you'll probably be like, um, maybe that wasn't the best. But it's a rush. You're not gonna. That's not gonna leave you in the morning going, "Whoa, did I really do that?" You pre you'll, you'll like seeing watching this movie. You really will, and. It is exactly like a drug rush. Speaking of which, just so happen to have some NZT right here. Let's see if I can. Alright, guys, good news and bad news. Good news is that I have written a yet another book. That's right, it's a sequel to my first book, Stellar. And here it is. It's called Jump. And yep, guess you guys all know my real name now. I'm gonna flip through it. You can pause it in sections if you wanna read bits and pieces. So there it is. And uh bad news of course is that as I said before, I don't know what to do with this story. There's a lot of I shown the first one to a couple of people and uh they've I've had very positive responses. Thank you very much. Uh, Samantha and everyone who's already read it. But again, I still don't know what to do with this, so again, any ideas will help. If you guys want to read this or the sequel, just let me know what any way I can publish it. So, uh, you get, if you guys want to read it. 